Hi, this is Carla with GlutenFreeRecipeBox.com, and I'm here to show my members how to throw this amazing pizza recipe. I've been making pizza gluten-free for 10 years, and this is my all-time favorite recipe. So I have all the wet ingredients in the mixer, and oops, it's locked, and just throw them, all the dry ingredients in at one time. And you're going to keep the whisk attachment on there and we're going to set it to we're going to set it to medium low and just until everything gets wet and then we're going to increase it to high i'm setting the timer for four minutes Though you may think that you don't need to do it for a full four minutes, it will help develop a gluten-like texture by doing so. We have sauce, mozzarella cheese shredded, pepperoni, and our pizza dough. Hi, this is Carla with GlutenFreeRescueBox.com and I'm going to show you how I'm going to make a pepperoni pizza bake. We have sauce, mozzarella cheese shredded, pepperoni, and our pizza dough. that all the way down so I'm going to pop it back in the oven for five more minutes so after an additional five minutes I get a firmer crust it doesn't feel like it's going to collapse dry in certain areas just like crust on pizza yet soft enough where I could make a good indentation it's perfect texture nice and soft there's more sauce so if you want um, extremely soft crust then cover it saturate all pieces of crust but if you want it a little chewy then leave some a little exposed now we're going to grab a slice of this pepperoni pizza bake so you can see what the texture's like inside You can 
Let's see how soft it is. Spongy, like a gluten-free pizza crust. Cheese just doesn't want to let go. That's a corner piece. And I plan on serving this with pizza sauce on the side. Oh, it's, the dough is wonderful. So you have a, it's like an easy deep dish pizza, except there's more layers to it. Yummy, wish I could have it right now.